Tie tenants of the regulated pub companies have the right to a free of tie offer every time they renegotiate their rent under the pub's code. This is called the market rent only or MRO. And it's how a tie tenant can ensure that they are no worse off than if they were free of tie and can choose the best option for their business. Now, the MRO process has been used over 1,300 times since 2016 when the code was introduced. Tenants have used it as a negotiating tool in their tied rent review or to go free of tie. But more tenants could use the process and by issuing binding guidance to the pub companies, I aim to remove potential financial barriers which might put tenants off doing so. So let me tell you about the ways in which the guidance does this. It requires the pub company to provide full information in support of the MRO rent offer because showing how it has been calculated can help the tenant negotiate effectively over the rent. So that means the tenant should get the, a detailed profits valuation, barrelage assumptions, comparable evidence and more. The guidance also ensures that the tenant is clear how tenants' improvements may have played a part in that calculation. That way, they can better compare it with the tide offer where those improvements are disregarded always. The guidance also ensures that upfront costs aren't a barrier to new tenants. That means a reasonable transition period to any new deposit or any change in the rent payment periods under the MRO tenancy. So note, it's likely to be unreasonable for the pub company to offer no transition period at all in respect of increased deposit or less frequent rent payments. The guidance also ensures that the offer of a new tenancy does not put off the tenant by requiring the completion of terminal dilapidations. Importantly, therefore, it makes clear that the requirement to complete terminal dilapidations as a condition of an MRO tenancy is likely to be unreasonable. It would be a breach of the pub's code for a, a pub company to treat a tied tenant detrimentally because they exercise or attempt to exercise any right under the code and the guidance seeks to support that too. For further information and to read the guidance in full, please see my website.